talking about. Now I know how the way to pour a beer. You start at 45, and we tilt up. Oh, look at that amber ale. Yeah, I'm going to stop there because I might just hate this and he might have to drink the rest of it. Look at that head though. Look at that amber color. Look at that head. Look, Small, finely defined bubbles. I mean, look at that. Some beautiful bubbles on that head. Oh, wow, that is mellow. Have a little bit of a malty, like a like. She's yeasty, which which is really good. Look at the carbonation on it. All right, enough talking about the smell. Let's get into this. God, I can't. I don't know if I can get past the head here. You like a little head? Just drink it. What's that, Dee Dee? I like head. <laughs> okay. Cheers, folks. Well, I gotta do this. Ooh. Mm. Ooh, she is. Mm. Ooh, she's mellow. She has, again, she has a little bit of a tire bite, but that's a tasty golden ale. I'm trying to figure out what what I'm tasting here. I'm getting like a little bit of a. It's not really a big tire rubber taste. It's kind of like a... It's kind of chalky. It's kind of chalky on the back end. It's kind of a smoky... Like I kind of get a little smokiness with, with chalk. It's kind of weird to explain. But that head, look at that head. It is just staying there. That is, I, I, I'm sorry, I know you don't buy it for the head, but damn it, look at that. Look at the lacing on that glass, too. Isn't that, it's just, it's a beautiful looking beer. She has kind of a, I don't know, what do you think, GD? Mm. What do you think of that? Uh, What do you think of that? Citrus. Do you get that? Not real strong. I kind of get up a lemony taste to it. A little bit off the beginning. Citrusy. Citrusy? Lemony taste. I kind of get that too, and you know, I'm getting like a little bit of a, I do, it's, 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 it's in the middle palate too, and I'm noticing when I'm, when I'm drinking this, the nose, because I'm drinking out of a bottle. Not, not a guzzler's beer. It's not a guzzler's beer, but I notice from the nose that when I'm drinking, I'm getting this, this hit me right in the face, it's like this yeasty bread smell that... It's kind of overpowering, but it's kind of pleasant. I've tasted that yeasty smell once. Oh, never mind. We're tasting beer right now. That's right. That's right. That that's for your website. <laughs> but yeah, that that yeasty smell is just is hitting me right in the nose. That's actually good. That's really good. Rare Voss Brewery Oma Gang. They 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 got a home run again. I'm a Moosehead lover, and this is actually good. He's a Moosehead lover. We reviewed that last week. Or actually, I Either they're dead or alive. I don't like moose tongue, too. Oh, yeah. Moose tongue. Huh? Oh, shit. That's my finish. Oh, yeah. But, yeah, rare Voss. And that has some really nice lacing on the glass that really doesn't go away. The head is beautiful white. I, okay, I'm sorry. I'm a head lover. Do you hear what I said? I'm a head lover. Beautiful. Because the beautiful, has rich a different little, taste than the... Uh, there's little rich little bubbles of flavor in here. has a here different taste than the base. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Well, let's wrap this review up. Overall, I think this is a good beer. 
I think if you... It would be one I'd buy again. You know, I think if you were watching your Blu-ray edition, the director's cut of Apocalypse Now, and you wanted a beer to go with it, I think Rare Voss would be the beer, beer, beer to go with that. So, from both of us, we think Rare Voss is a good beer. Garbage disposal like me. Garbage disposal like me. He Garbage likes it. Both of yeah. So, until... I drink anything. Yeah. Well, there are exceptions. Oh, yeah. Milwaukee's best, right? Anything be but Miller. <laughs> so, until then, may your glasses be full. And cheers. That tastes like my Rottweiler shit in my mouth. How would you know? I woke up one time, don't ask why, but it happened. Just leave it alone.